Hey everybody, you got the Hobby Drifter here. It is August 5th in the evening here in beautiful Tokyo, Japan. What you're looking at is Mount Fuji in Sakura season, which unfortunately I did not get to see this year, and kind of the goddamn global health crisis, which is still going on and is worse than ever. So if you were one of the four people who watched one of my previous videos and heard me saying, you know, that you know things were looking good, I was wrong, I was wrong. People told me I was wrong. I, for once in my life, wanted to be positive and optimistic and hope everything was going to work out great, but it, uh, it hasn't. It hasn't been working out great. Um, the, the numbers that we're getting, you know, might be whatever, might not. Uh, don't seem to be a whole lot of extra deaths going on right now, so, you know, fingers crossed, knock on wood, um, you know, that's going okay. Anyway, um, so if you tuned into this video, either you're one of my, you know, uh, online friends, or you're one of the people who wants to hear me talk about uh, stuff from my collection in Japan. And assuming you're the latter, I'm going to get right to it instead of doing the whole long intro, blah, 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 blah. Uh, okay, so Gundam. I don't know shit about Gundam, <laughs> okay? Um, I somehow, man, that's one of my, my big blind spots. Uh, I, I like building the model kits. Uh, I did go back recently and watch Gundam Wing, which everyone here is more than willing to tell me doesn't really count. Man, there's some pushback on Gundam Wing. Like, uh, it's, I think it's kind of like with Power Rangers, where, like, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers became, you know, like, the, the, the starting point uh, outside of Japan. So, you know, people who were, like, OG, like, OG fans, you know, they're just kind of like, oh, well, you know, you're, you're one of those, you know, like, uh, Johnny-come-lately types. And, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean... Yeah, fair enough. Um, you know, there were a couple of Gundam movies released in English, um, you, you know, like 30 bucks at FYE or whatever, Suncoast, uh, that I never saw because, you know, I didn't really care. My, my, my rule is basically if the robot isn't alive, I don't give a fuck. Um, but I do like building the Gundam, you know, models, of course. Uh, I've built the uh, Wing Gundam Zero. It's got to be about a half dozen times and a half dozen different ways by now. Um, I, like, I like the designs. I like how it looks. I like the art style. I just, I don't have the time or energy to sit down and watch however many shows. And, you know, I'm, I'm told that it, it's actually not that many. Like, it's a bunch of, you know, un unconnected series. Uh, so I could, I just don't want to. I don't, I don't care. I don't care if the robot's not alive. Um, but, you know, my, my wife, big Gundam fan. Um, it, it's unavoidable. It, Gundam is one of those things where you just, if you live in Japan, or basically outside of Japan now, um, you're going to be inundated with, with Gundam stuff. It's going to be like, you know, in your field of vision. Uh, but like I say, I do like the art style, and I like collecting uh, pretty nerd books. Uh, it's just it's just one of my things. Um, I, you know, I do most of my reading now with like Kindle, you know, and things like that, you know, because I don't have a lot of space. Uh, but I do like just big, big ass art books, uh, which brings me to this. Oh my god, look at this. It is this gigantic, like, bigger than A4 size jumbo box thing. Um, and it's, it's not, it's not pretty. Uh, I'm told that there was like a, like a paper bit on here, uh, that has been removed. Uh, but it is, and my god, it's, it's heavy. This thing weighs like probably more than 10 pounds. Uh, it is the, uh, there we go, the Gundam 30th Anniversary Illustrations Tenchi Sozo. Uh, and there's two volumes here. It's Universal Century, which I guess is the real Gundam, and then uh, New Generation, which not. Um, I don't know. That's just what I've been told. So let's, uh, let's open this thing up and take a look at it. Yep. Yeah? All right, we're back. Look at this thing. It's huge. It's gigantic. It is massive. I'm gonna pull the camera back so you can just see how freaking big this is. Uh, I'm I'm big. I'm you know six three. This is my my giant hand, and it's you know it's it's big. So let's open this thing up. Uh, I'm told by the way the MSRP on this thing was fifteen thousand yen, which is you know about a hundred and forty U.S. dollars. Um, so I mean it's uh, it's pricey. Uh, I did not pay that, which <laughs> we're gonna get into later. Uh, so let's get these things open. Okay, first book. And they're, they're elegant. Look at this. There's, there's nothing. There's nothing on the back here. It's just, you know, solid color. And then just 
Universal Century. Gundam 30th Illustrations Tenchi Sozo. And I don't know what Sozo is. So, let's get this thing open. And uh, it, it, it does open. I don't know if that's, you know, always been like that or if just the previous owner actually used it. Um, it's from uh, Kadokawa Shoten. Um, I know Bandai is pretty litigious with stuff, so I'm not going to show you everything uh, in this book uh, in the hopes that it doesn't get taken down and I lose my, my four views. I need those views. Uh, but yeah, so it goes from um, Mobile Suit Gundam, uh, the 8th MS team. I hate this font. I, I know that that's eight, but I mean, I wouldn't if I hadn't known that, you know, that's a thing. Um, you know, War in the Pocket, Stardust Memory, uh, Mobile Suit Z Gundam, Mobile Suit Gundam Double Z, Mobile Suit Gundam uh, Shars Counterattack, uh, Gundam F91, V Gundam, and uh, others, yeah, and others on page 190. And uh, Desire to Gundam, Interview of Gundam 30th Anniversary on page 232 here. All right, so, um, yeah, <laughs> it's freaking beautiful. Like, look at this. Oh, okay. Like, look at this. It's, uh, yeah, there's, there's some, some nudity in here. Um, wasn't really expecting that. But, I mean, look at some of these beautiful illustrations. They're, they're full page. Um, they, some of these are, are full bleed. Beautiful colors just pop right off the page there. Uh, if I knew anything about Gundam, I'm sure I'd probably appreciate it more. There's, there's my my wife's, uh, you know, Bishi, I think they say. Uh, there's there's Shar, and there's a whole bunch of people I don't know anything about. So that's uh, Universal Century. Uh, now let's check out uh, New Generation, which I I don't know what that entails. But let's open it up and check it out. Look at that New Generation. So pretty. So very pretty. All right. And in this one, we got uh, uh, G Gundam, Gundam Wing, the one that I know. Gundam X, Turn A Gundam, which again, I didn't know that's how it was pronounced. I did a little bit of research for this. Uh, Gundam Seed, Gundam Seed Destiny, which I guess is a different thing. Didn't do that much research. Stargazer, Gundam... Double O? And Desire to Gundam Interview and uh, Index on page 250. Uh, so, yeah, again, you've got these uh, beautiful pictures. It seems a lot more human uh, towards the back there. Um, utterly spectacular, beautiful things. Uh, the people who make Gundam are geniuses. They are artistic. They're, this is um, not my favorite artist. My, my favorite artist is Sadamoto. But, uh, I mean, this is great. If I knew what any of this shit was, I'm sure I would be just in absolute heaven over it. Uh, but I don't. So, there's Gundam Wing. I know that. You know, okay, there's everyone getting married. I watched the entire series recently. Didn't, didn't see everyone, you know, go to, like, a huge group wedding. But, you know, that, that would be cool. Um, there's Relina, who I thought was a fine character. Apparently people don't like her. Uh, just, yeah, just nice. Um, I buy these, these art books, even if I don't know anything about the series, just because they're pretty. I like, I like pretty. I like pretty things. I like having pretty things. And if I can get them cheap, then I will do so. Um, honestly, after going through this video, I don't know that this is going to be a part of my uh, permanent collection. Uh, this, this is probably going to wind up going to the first you know, Gundam fan I meet that uh, shows any kind of interest in it. Um, I, I, I do that. I, I buy stuff, and I enjoy it for a little bit, and I enjoy having it, and then I get rid of it. Uh, but why? Why, Hobby Drifter? Why did you buy this $150 beautiful Gundam thing if you don't care about Gundam? It's a good question. Um, because I didn't pay $150 for it. See, here's the thing. Um, I'm not always the biggest stickler for the conditions of things. Uh, I know there are some collectors who everything has to be immaculate. They want the pristine, you know, untouched versions of stuff, and I totally respect that. I love seeing a, a beautiful collection like that. Uh, that's, that's not me. I, I want what I want, and if there's, you know, a couple of cosmetic flaws, I do not mind in the least. Um, but <laughs> it's a lot of Japanese collectors, yeah, that is completely unthinkable to them. 
Uh, they're just like, what? There's a there's damage. You know, this is garbage. Uh, and sometimes it is. Uh, if if you're you know not above garbage picking on uh, paper recycling day, you can get a shit ton of books just sitting out waiting for the garbage guy to come pick them up. Uh, my wife frowns upon such shenanigans, and I try not to do it now that I am married. Um, but, uh, yeah, I used to. <laughs> you know, you're, you you come back from work, and there's just, you know, hundreds of volumes of manga just, you know, sitting out waiting to get uh, picked up by the recycling guy. And, uh, you know, mine. So, how cheap would it have to be for me to buy this giant time, you know, space-consuming slipcase hardcover edition? Uh, would I would I have paid, you know, hundred and twenty dollars for it? No, hundred dollars. Uh, uh, fifty. No, twenty five. Honestly, no. I would not have paid twenty five dollars for it. There are twenty five dollar books that I would actually pay twenty five dollars for. Gundam, not one of them. This this thing because of the you know the, the damage to the slipcase and only the slipcase. The books are pristine. Uh, it was, you know the damage to the slipcase. This thing was marked down to drum roll please. Da -da 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 -da. Seven hundred and seventy yen. That's seven dollars. I paid seven dollars for this, folks. Um, seven dollars won't get you lunch at McDonald's. It probably would get you lunch at McDonald's, but I mean, okay, seven dollars would not get you lunch at a respectable restaurant. Every McDonald's is respectable. It's not a. That's not. You know, it's not like oh, McDonald's. It's not a lot of money. <laughs> seven dollars is not a lot of money. I have bought. Um, Domestic beers for that. That's what it costs. Seven hundred dollars is the cost of a domestic beer at a pub. And oh my god, guys, folks, everybody, I miss pubs. I miss going to bars. This goddamn pandemic. Like I I work with children. Lots of children. Hundreds of children. And people here, you know, kids, tend to, you know, live with their families and not just their mothers, their fathers, you know, but like the extended family, like grandma, grandpa. So I, being somewhat of a responsible person, and, you know, I don't want to be known as the, you know, the teacher who brought the plague to the families of, you know, his precious students. Also, you know, just, you know, I don't want people to get hurt because I want to go out and drink a beer. Uh, but I do, I want to go out and drink a beer. Going out and drinking beer is when I get to go out and actually practice new Japanese with people. And uh, sitting at home uh, in my apartment, that's not been great for my Japanese, you know, practice ability. Uh, my wife eh, does not really like speaking to me in Japanese because it gets tiresome for her. Uh, but in small doses, it's great. Um, so yeah, that's my thing. I would like to go out and drink beer in public again, but I can't do that because of the goddamn global health pandemic, and uh, I feel bad about that. Not about not drinking. I feel bad because, aside from the whole not going out and drinking and, you know, chatting pe with people in Japanese thing, uh, this has not really affected me a whole lot. You know, and I feel bad. I feel like survivor's guilt. Like, I wasn't the most, you know, outdoorsy type of person anyway, so my life hasn't really been that badly affected by stuff. I kept my job so far. You know, my company is still, you know, going. Um... You know, I can still get the stuff I like. You know, I, I can't I can't send, you know, mail to the U.S. as easily as I would like to. Um, but I mean, you know, ugh, cry me a river. Um, but anyway, yeah, back to this. Gundam! 30th anniversary! Beautiful, beautiful box set. If you are a Gundam fan, uh, yeah, this is great. By all means, pay 50 bucks, or pay 100 bucks for it. Probably don't pay like the 300. I saw someone asking on Amazon. That's a bit much. You shop around to get a better price. Uh, but, I mean, yeah, uh, it's great. If you're into Gundam, and I mean all of Gundam, mm, yeah, this is specifically made for you. Uh, if you find me, maybe uh, we met up in a bar at some point uh, somewhere down the road, and you say, oh, hey, Hobby Drifter, I'm a big Gundam fan. I will go back to my apartment, I will grab this thing, and I will give it to you. I will give it to you for the price of a single domestic pint. And then we will, I will break even, and you will come out with the deal of a lifetime. All right, so that is it. That is all from me. Thank you very much. I have been the Hobby Drifter. You can find me online uh, on Twitter, at Hobby Drifter. I'm there more often than I'd like. Uh, you can leave me a message, you know, like, share, subscribe if you're into that kind of thing. If not, that's fine. No one else does. Uh, until next time, folks, uh, take care, be safe, take care of everyone else, love each other. You're great. 
and happy hobbying.